Victims of a landslide that occurred in Nyabuoroba in Sensi Ward, who had pitched tent at a school, are in staring at eviction with nowhere to go. The victims whose houses were badly damaged by landslide cannot return to their homes, with geologists warning that the place where the landslide occurred is still unsafe. According to county geologist Clofas Manyara, the land has since sunk five feet deep and the worst could happen anytime soon. The movement should have started going down, downhill. But what is holding the land in place is are the trees. There are several blue gums here, which are actually with the deep roots we are holding the soil here. So, uh, and the reason why we're having landslide here is, is because this area is on a hilly ground. The county deputy commissioner, David Saruni, is now calling for supplies of tents to assist the families relocate from the school ahead of reopening of schools on Monday. With the schools opening, we still now need to move them from these classrooms and put them in, in some tents somewhere before we establish whether they can go back there or not. But so far, the position, the position is there should not go back to, 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 to the village, to this village, because we're still expecting uh, that the fault lines are not yet stable. Sensi Ward MCA Paul Angwenyi has called on the two levels of governments to resettle the victims elsewhere, as returning to their homes is not an option. What we're now asking the national government and the county government, although uh, is uh, to come in handy to assist these people, uh, settle in another place, get uh, temporary tents, and uh, <coughs> a place where they can be secure. The governor's spouse, Elizabeth Ongwai, donated foodstuffs to the affected families, calling for counseling for the victims to avert incidences of unwanted pregnancy and disease outbreak in the camp. A similar situation is replicated at Etago Sabu County, where to close to 300 victims sought shelter at Nyasasa Primary and Secondary School. Reporting for KBC Channel One, my name is Moses Ngwono Nyakundi.